it's the perfect song. Um, minus two Celsius about 30 Fahrenheit. Yes, cold as ice. <laughs> Here's the car I'm gonna buy. That'll get me through the snow. And if I wanna get a wood fire, I guess I've got some handy wood here. All set. Well, welcome to another big edition of Headbanging Zoo, the UK's big weather report action. Minus two, which is about 30 Fahrenheit. And we're supposed to get some snow, but it's only kind of overcast. <clears throat> but you want to go for a swim? Well, you'll probably break your hip or break your leg. <laughs> yeah, everything's white around here. <clears throat> oh well, hopefully summer will happen one day. <laughs> Welcome to another big edition of Album Battles. Masterality versus Volume 4. It's a big battle. <laughs> Rate every song out of 10, and then come up with an average and find out which album wins. So, Sweet Leaf, first song, first side. Gave it an 8.50. Uh, let's get to a few samples. We're kind of always like the fast part. You always look forward to that Some Sabbath. It's a big deluxe version. Anyways, can't take too long on these. Next. I must have given this one a 10, I hope. Yeah, 10 out of 10. After forever. That's definitely one of my favorite songs in rock history. <laughs> if I had a better camera, you could probably read what it says, but. I love the word, lyrics in this song. Talk about not believing in God when you die, and is that what you're gonna think when you're dying? <laughs> they say there's no atheist in a foxhole, so <laughs> we're all gonna die. After this is uh, one of the famous little instrumental deals I don't know what I believe is they cut these into songs like they call this 30 second thing a song just because you get more writing credits per album it's all more money but anyway this is Embryo I give it a 3.0 because disco and country sound worse than this but to me it's a nothing then we go on to one I wonder why that was a 10 Yep, I gave it a 10. This used to be their encore song. Seems funny now, Paranoid seems to be the encore song, but. Yeah, Tone of the Grave. Any Sabbath fan knows that song. Then they switch uh, to Orchid. This is a two minute deal. Again, uh, I did these ratings a couple of weeks ago, so it's all new to me again. I gave it a 3.0 again, same thing, just to me, it was skilled guitaring, I guess, but I would, I always skip it. I don't think I've ever heard this thing all the way through if I hadn't been able to switch it. Next, Lord of This World, Bill Ward. I gave this a 10.0. Let's see, I wanted to get to Ozzy's voice here where he kicks in. No 
nobody sounds like that except for the guy from Trouble. Uh, when I first heard him, I thought he sounded like Ozzy. Or no, was it Trouble? No, maybe it was Chevy. Canada's very own Chevy. There's stoner metal band from Canada. Yeah, I don't think Trouble singers sound like Ozzy. It's Chevy I'm thinking of. S-A-V-A-V-Y, but... After that, Solitude. This is a five-minute deal. I gave it a 3.0 as well. It's just... Always skip it. No time for it at all. It's just... doesn't grate on me like country and disco, but I would never listen to that. Then, again, one of the best songs of rock history, Into the Void. Yeah, that heavy part. This is 1973, I think. 72? Gee. This 2016 re-release, of course it doesn't show the actual of original whatever. But there you have all the mass reality. I just want to should this part. The teenager hearing this for the first time was unbelievable. I still remember opening up the vinyl, tearing the cellophane away and A lot of you were headbanging, started with Sabbath. But anyway, I got show volume four now. Back in a sec. Fantastic album cover. I quite recommend this uh, version because the sound quality on it is fantastic. Like. I always remember Volume 4 as being sort of a little more dustier or muffled um, compared to Mass Reality, but this is sharp and still heavy and gritty though. <laughs> anyway, it starts out with Wheels of Confusion. This is about seven minutes long or something. Um, 8.03. <laughs> I normally like fast songs to start out an album, but this is, I must have given this a 10. Yeah, easy 10. This is the classic. This one like Volume 4 so much because the tempo changes. It's just right around the bend. It just switches to something else. This guitar tone is as good as I've ever heard. It's on this album. Taste of that. Next is Tomorrow's Dream. Gave it a 9.0. Not that there's anything wrong with the song, but it just seems like a notch below. Um, wanted to get to the my days. Hey, did I? I want to get to the point where it changes. In the final release, these were pictures Inside the gatefold, I had those on my wall. <laughs> that picture I always loved. Anyway, next, I gave this a 1.0 because I do rate this about as bad as country and disco. <laughs> Changes. Then FX is this thing, just a sound effect thing. 
I've read what it was all about, but I don't remember. But I, I gave that a 3.0. I still like it better than changes, even though I still never listen to this. Then we get into... It's on my top list of songs of all time. <laughs> Super not. Just so heavy. He's his bass there. <laughs> yeah. But this part after the drumming part is just unbelievable. Just builds it up. Takes a while to get through it, but there's a rare picture of Sabbath around this era. Luna kicks in. It's like almost my favorite music moment of all time. There's the peace sign. Vertigo label there. can't play the whole song. <laughs> Man, what do you follow that up with? You follow it up with this. <laughs> snow blind. I gave that a 10. There's just no way around it. I owe me. And there's live footage of them on YouTube where they have snow coming down during the song, it's like, but you all know that song. <laughs> Next, talk about heavy, especially for early 70s, cornucopia. If anyone says Sabbath isn't heavy metal, I don't know if they listen to the band. <laughs> Lots of tempo changes. The fast, faster part. Then Ozzy. I don't know what's happening. It's all torn inside. Anyway, after that, turn this down because I don't like this at all. Laguna Sunrise, 2.5. Uh, I think they recorded this album in California. I think they just did this about the Laguna Sunrise. So anyway, St. Vitus Dance. 9.0, actually. This part coming up, I like. Well, I got to hurry up here. Then last... Under the sun, oh, what a drag to give that. Every day comes and goes, slash, but um, every day comes and goes. Six minutes, but it's heavy. Well, anyway, we'll be back with the results in a second. So, the final score Master Reality 7.20, Volume 4, 7.45. There's the winner. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep living right, right, guys.